Okay, we're now going to go over the logic for our number guessing game. And um, so I'm going to quickly step you through um, our design. And so starting our programming logic, we are going to initialize a set of variables before we um, prompt the user for their guess. And so the first variable, g, is a Boolean variable. It's a true-false uh, variable. And we're going to set that to false. Um, because we're, we're tracking in that variable if the guess is correct. Well, we don't know if the guess is correct until we uh, prompt the user for their answer. So that initially gets set to false. R represents a random number that we are going to be generating. And it is important to always start the game with a random number. Um, if we didn't do that, then once you guessed the number the first time, all subsequent games would have the same answer. Um, so there would really be no challenge to it. Um, so it's always important to uh, start off with a random number. And that random number in our flowchart is represented by R. Okay, variable n is the number of guesses the user has has made. Think of it more as like tries or attempts. It's a, that's an easy way to um, to think about it. Now m is the maximum guesses allowed. So this is a static um, value. Now in our game, if we want to make it uh, more difficult, then we could decrease the number of um, uh, guesses allowed um, or if we wanted to make it easier we could increase the number of guesses that um, we um, allow the user to have. For the number of guesses we're going to use the number 30 which is a good intermediate um, place to start. Okay so now we come to our first decision and um, this decision that we have will bring us into a loop and um, you'll see how this loop works as we go through the logic. Next we want to evaluate variable g which will tell us whether the guess is correct or not. Well we don't know if the guess is, is, um, is correct or not because we haven't asked the user so our loop will always start off with uh, with false but as we go through we'll be evaluating their answer which will be a true or false so we're gonna continue on in our flow and since this is the first time around um, our guess is is false so we're gonna go down here and then we're gonna ask the user for the first time what their um, what their answer is and so basically it's going to say guess a number between 1 and 100 and so they'll provide an answer and since they guess we're going to increment our number of guesses counter by 1. Now we go down here to our, our next decision and it says is the number of guesses greater than the maximum allowed? Well if they if they have more than 30 attempts we're going to want to end the game right away and so you'll see our connector 3, which brings us down here, will end the game. So 3 goes to the end of the game. Okay, let's look at our next condition. It says if their answer, the, the, the answer that the user provided, if it equals the, um, the random number that we generated up here, then we're going to tell them that they won. So that we're going to let the user know that they won, and we're going to set our boolean um, g which is asking is the guess correct we're going to set that to true and then we're going to go down to our connector 2 which brings us here and um, so as we loop we want to show the user the number of uh, attempts that they've that they've had so number of tries is 
is what we'll be uh, displaying to the user. So if the number of guesses is less or equal to the maximum guesses allowed, then we're gonna go ahead and show them that message. And uh, so in this case, we're, sh we're saying that, uh, that they won and we're gonna show them how many uh, um, tries it took for them to win. And then we're gonna go to our connector one, which brings us back to the start of the loop here. And the question again, it's gonna ask, is G false? Well, no, it's, it's actually true now. So we're gonna go to connector three, which will end the game. So that is the scenario of when you win. Now, let's say the answer wasn't uh, correct. Now the next uh, test we're gonna do is we're gonna say, well, is their answer greater than um, the random number? If it is, then we're gonna say that the, uh, the answer is too high. We're gonna go to our connector two, and of course we're gonna show them the number of attempts and now we're gonna loop again. Well, in that case, the answer was not correct, so we're gonna loop again. And uh, ask him for the next number. We're gonna increment the number of attempts. Now let's say that, um, so we've covered this scenario right here. Now we're gonna see what happens when the number is too low. So same type of logic, except now we're gonna show a message that says it's too low. We're gonna to go to our uh, second connector here, which shows them the number of tries. And, um, and so again, we go back up to the, uh, the, the loop here. And so we do this until they either answer the correct number or they run out of attempts. And um, eventually the, uh, the game will uh, end. So that's, that's a nice little overview of um, how our design works. And uh, so having our design in place now, it'll be really easy to, um, to code this. So I hope you've enjoyed this video and um, I will definitely have more for you.